hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right man um i just got up a little while ago man and i got a text from a uh, ticket and he told me to check out this video box and beats and rhymes put out and i listened to it and it was a great video you know um I've been following Boxing Beats and Rhymes pretty much since I got on YouTube. I've been a loyal subscriber for, you know, pretty much two years since I've been on YouTube. Um, Boxing Beats and Rhymes was one of the first uh, uh, 10 channels I subbed to when I got on here. So I've been following Boxing Beats and Rhymes since I got on here. So I think the first channels I subscribed to, the first 10 was like... Dante's Box Nation, Divine Sense, uh, Seven Eight, um, Box Nego, Ticket, a um, few other people. So those were like the uh, first channels I subbed to. You know, when I got on here, I've been on YouTube approximately going on two years. I think I got on YouTube. I think in April of two thousand fifteen. But like I said, I support Boxing Beats and Rhymes. So I got his back because Boxing Beats and Rhymes, he supports my channel. And I appreciate that. So, shout out to Boxing Beats and Rhymes. Okay, case in point. He put out a video um, just basically uh, talking about this individual, this clown. Now, I know he doesn't want to say it. Or he doesn't like saying it, but I'll say it. This coon, because that's what he is. He's a coon. He's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a shit starter. You know, case in point, a couple of days ago, uh, John Boxer put out a video basically saying pretty much the same thing about this dude. Because this dude is a piece of shit. He's a poor excuse for a black person. He's a fraud. He's a biter. He's a shit starter. And he's a liar. Now, one of the things that bothers me is this dude has went out of his way to, you know, take shots at so-called pro-black channels to appease these racist white supremacists YouTube channels. And if you look at the people he's aligned himself with, they are known racist, white supremacist, bigots, haters, whatever you want to call them. And he goes out of they out, I mean he goes out of his way to align himself with them. And I exposed this dude a couple of years ago. He's been exposed by quite a few people on what he does. What he was, he was, um, he was a, a Travis Gotti, uh, protege. He was a big fan of Travis Gotti. And, um, he was one of the reasons, like, when me and Travis Gotti was going at it, like, the beef escalated to where it got, you know, to where it just got out of hand, you know. But whatever the case may be, me and Gotti, we went our separate ways. We cut the shit. But this dude, that's what he was doing. This dude was sticking his nose in everybody's beef. And he made some video a couple of months ago saying that he uh he shouldn't have stuck his nose in one person's beef. But he did it to more than one person. This dude was always sticking his nose in black channels beefs, instigating this shit. And I know your faggot ass is listening to this video because you still troll my channel. Like, you're a faggot. And you're a piece of shit. And it's a reason why people say if they see you, they're going to beat the shit out of you. But anyway. He was sticking his nose in Ticket TV's business. Sticking his nose in my business. Sticking his nose in... You know, when Blood Boxing and John and, and John Boxing was going at it, he was sticking his nose in that. He was always sticking his nose in people's business, especially the black channels, instigating, voicing his opinion. And it wasn't needed. But then when there were several videos with these white people flat out calling black people racist names, 
and saying racist shit, he allowed them to still comment on his channel. And he tried to say he doesn't take racism from anybody. No, what he does is he tries to play that role to get white viewers by trying to attack us. And that's why we don't like him. And then he knows these white channels. He They would come. I, I, I would watch some of his videos before I just like completely just said, I'm not fucking with this dude. I tried to give him the chance. I really did. But he kept, he, he just kept trying me. I mean, if you look at these videos that he would put out, he, he attacked Northwest Boxing. He attacked Boxing Beats Rhymes and was saying that they were racist towards Amir Khan. So he would have these these fragile ass Amir Khan fans, they would be harassing Boxing Beats and Rhymes. And they would be harassing Northwest Boxing. The Northwest he just came out of nowhere and said that Northwest Boxing never said anything about uh Pakistanians. Cause I'll follow Northwest Boxing's channel. And then all of a sudden these Pakistanians and these so called white people that act like they're just against racism. They would come fuck with him. And then he would do like try to, you know, try to fuck with me a little bit. Say I had a black power channel. Say me and Ticket was uh me and Ticket divided the YTBC and we started a race war and all that bullshit. Cause you know, the main culprits that people been blaming for the so-called race war was me and Ticket. They, they they didn't blame us since you know since basically a lot of some a lot of these brothers wised up and seen what dudes like Shady Slim was all about. He was an instigator. I mean everything with him is white 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 white. He thinks Eminem is the greatest rapper that ever lived. Bullshit. This dude would have known races coming on his channel calling him a nigger and he wouldn't say nothing to them. But then he'd always be trying to say that the black channels was the real racist just so he can get views and subs the dude is a fraud he's a fraud and then when people would get on him about that he'd be running to youtube saying that people was bullying him but then he'd be the one opening his mouth about people i wasn't checking for this dude this dude came on my channel trying to say shit to me and I told him to stay the fuck out my mix. You know? But what happened was when people started seeing what he was all about and started getting on him, then he wanted to play the victim like, uh, you know, like white supremacists do. This man talked about he gonna call it the, the FBI on the 1LBZ and, and all that shit. And then this clown motherfucker made a video talking about he could train Amir Khan better than Virgil Hunter. Okay, if that's the case, motherfucker, well, when I challenged you to a one-on-one -on -one and I said, hey, since you think you, you know, let's settle this, you know, once and for all. I threatened, you know, I ain't going to say threatened. I offered to come where he was and I said, we can have a one-on-one. -on -one. I said, if I win, you shut your channel down. If you win, I shut my channel down. And you know what the motherfucker did? He snitched the video out to YouTube and said I was bullying him. I don't even come on his fucking channel. I don't watch his whack ass videos unless it's by accident. I mean, when I say this dude is the epitome of a fraud, <laughs> the dude is a fucking fraud. He been doing this for a while. And like, you know, he, it like beats, he know what he doing. I told you guys, if I... I told you guys a couple of years ago, I made a video in 2015 called How to Get a Successful YouTube Channel. How to Get 4,000 Subs in Two Months. And the video still on it. All you had to do, if you want to, look, this is why I know most of these people on YouTube is racist. And that's why I don't fuck with them. And that's why I'm in my own lane. As long as you make videos bashing black people and being black, White supremacists will love you because they want want to take away. They want somebody to take away that guilt of them being racist by having somebody 
that look like me doing it for them and on their behalf so they can feel less guilty. And that's what that dude does. He's good at it. But I don't even think he believes the shit that he says. He talked about, I uh, talked about, he don't like hearing the word uh, cracker and, and, and pecker wood and all that stuff. Oh, but you would rather, but you love it when somebody non-black or white come on your channel referring to your, your own people as niggers. Now, he don't never say, hey, man, would you mind not saying that? He let him say it. He don't, he don't erase it. You know what I'm saying? He's sickening. That dude is a sickening individual. I mean, he make me sick to my stomach. I can't even stand to listen to his voice for no longer than 30 seconds because the dude is a piece of shit. He don't allow racism of any kind. You a goddamn lie. But then again, that's all you do anyway. This dude blatantly said, oh, um, I don't, you know, I don't have no problem with white people calling me, you know, the N, N word. Well, I do. I don't play that shit. But remember that. Remember all that shit he did. I'm serious. He don't say, okay. He say he don't tolerate. Now, let me show you what a liar he is. He say he don't tolerate racism whatsoever. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this dude was always sticking his nose in, 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 in Black Channel's business. Now, when when Fruit Newton, the you know, the dog fucker, sent Donovan Hunt that disgusting picture when Donovan, Donovan Hunt blocked him, so he came under one of his ghost accounts, and he sent Don, Donovan Hunt this disgusting picture. And that's what I mean about that dude. He's a, a, a person that trolls Black Channel's. Now, he didn't say nothing about that, but he always was sticking his nose in black people's uh, beefs, you know. And then I'll give you another case in point. Now, when Hawker Mustang made that comment that he liked to kill black children over the weekend, you know, and everybody was outraged. And I think he aimed it towards Coach. And Coach Block Talker Mustang like everybody should. He see he tried the instant message. Coach Shelton Harrison saying, Oh, is it any way you and Hawker Mustang can squash the beef? Now that wasn't none of his business. Same thing when, like I said, when me and Gotti was going at it. But he was going back and forth. But see, that's what I mean. When the black people are getting attacked, he don't want to do nothing. But then when he feel like everybody attacking these white channels, then here he come, you know, playing Captain Saber, you know what I'm saying? Captain Saber, white supremacist, Captain Saber, cracker, Captain Saber, white boy, whatever you want to call it. Now, he, he has a problem with black people using those words directed towards white people, but then he don't have a problem with white people, you know, <laughs> Attacking us. Just like that other faggot that live in a van with his wife and shit. This man they made known racist comments towards us. In particularly me, in particularly Ticket. Oh, but he follows his channel. He comments on this channel. He ain't said nothing about about him. He ain't called him out, but then he called himself trying to fuck with the black channels. Like I said, this dude is a fraud. I don't know what it is with his infatuation with white people. But keep in mind, he's what's wrong with a lot of black people who worship white people. Keep in mind, you guys, this motherfucker. I want y'all to remember this case in point. This motherfucker lied and said that he was half black. Until somebody I know sent me a picture of him. Motherfucker is damn near as black as Michael Blackston. But that's what type of person this cat is, man. I'm not going to talk about this dude no more. Like I said, if y'all follow that motherfucker, if y'all listen to his channel, stay the fuck off my channel. I'm so serious. Stay the fuck off my channel. Real talk. Don't come on my channel. If you sub to his channel, 
and you said to me, get the fuck off my channel. Fuck that dude. I'm out.